everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to our channel my name is Renee if you're new I have a very busy day today I have a lot of work to do I have a appointment to get B beam which I'll explain a little bit later I had to go grocery shopping work in terms of Poshmark and get those out for you guys just like a lot of stuff we're busy today so I picked myself up a nitro don't hate me I know I'm supposed to support local coffee shops um but today was just a nitro day this thing has so much caffeine it will get me through today so I'm here for it. So I woke up this morning, went grocery shopping, knocked that off real quick. I just had to get a few like basic stuff. Pretty good start to my morning. I did my own little like morning ritual. This video is actually gonna be sponsored by Nasty Gal. I'm gonna show you guys a quick Nasty Gal haul. All of the pieces that I mentioned will be linked in the description box for you guys if you do wanna shop around. This I actually wore in a previous video. I love this so much. It's very sleek and it gives a nice professional look, but it's so basic. It's just this black tank and it has shoulder pads believe it or not i feel like this makes the look it makes it look more than just like a black basic top it's like flowy it's kind of open here on the side so i typically will wear like a lace bralette with it um i wore this out to dinner the other night and i felt so good i think it's such a good basic top so my dad would be a proud man right now <laughs> i wish he was here to see this he'd be so happy oh my god um but this is just like an oversized beetles top i'm probably gonna be wearing this a lot you guys know i love my big giant t-shirts and i'm repping the beatles which i literally grew up with and they're the best band don't at me here's another top this is a tie-dye basic top it's not too oversized because i don't know i feel like i can just wear this out with like some leggings or something it's super comfortable casual i love the color it's almost like a mauve and like a navy and i feel like that really does bring out my eyes so yeah, love this. So here's another tie-dye, kind of late to the game, but love this, just basic crop. I'm probably gonna work out in this one. Nice bright color for summer. I'm obsessed with this one. Again, it's an oversized top. I love it, I love the vibe. Yeah, and I love the tongue, like, oh my God, I actually look like I have boobs. What? This is so cute. So this is a mesh, hold on, my air conditioning is about to turn on. Um, this is like a mesh, top uh the bralette is mine so it's not part of it but you can just wear a typical bralette i love the tightness of this because i feel like with i'll have to take that tag off but um i feel like with the mesh sometimes it can look a little bit weird because it's not like tight fitted this is so tight to the point where it like brings your boobs up i feel like you need this to be tight but then like you can see here the sleeves are kind of almost like on the looser side and the collared here i love how it goes all the way up to your neck it's a really tight collar. Oh my God, I'm freaking in love with this. And it's a bodysuit, so it buttons on the bottom so you don't have to take off your whole top. Like you can literally just unbutton it when you go to the bathroom. My boobs are looking, oh, what the hell? Can this just be the thumbnail? I love this. What? I also got a belt. So this belt, heads up, I don't I forgot if it was a one size fits all. It is a little bit big for me. I have a very small waist, 
So I what I did was I basically just put in an extra hole here, but it looks pretty normal like it didn't ruin the belt or anything I have a belt very similar to this. That's actually like ripping So I'm glad I was able to get this. This is like a bigger buckle too. I don't want to take this off I'm just gonna go to the doctor like this. I'm gonna walk in and be like I'm ready for my treatment Okay all right, so here's another bodysuit. So they have the open sleeves, which I love. I love when it's tight fitted and then the sleeves kind of just flow out. Oh, I feel like I really like this. I'm just like a big bodysuit person. I like how it goes in. Again, this one buttons, so you don't have to take the whole thing off. This is an oversized dress. It kind of has this flow, ruffly kind of thing here at the bottom. I feel like it's so comfortable. I'm probably gonna get a lot of use of this in the house. Basically like a giant oversized top, but make it a dress and cute. I love this. It's like a mauve gray. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go run some errands in the city. This is a hair clip. It's a beautiful bow. When my hair is up, we're gonna wing it here. I love how hair accessories are coming back. I feel like there's such an easy way to like add a lot of effort with no effort all right i don't know ah oh, this is so hard i don't know if you guys can see that but it's a bow i'm gonna have real fun with that now for the sleepwear obsessed with the phrase nasty gal i just feel like it's so cute oh my god this is so comfortable oh it's like light and soft but yeah this is a set so the top here just says nasty gal the bottoms are overflowing with softness. Look how comfortable these look. Ugh. This is another uh, PJ set. This one is shorts. So I'm probably gonna wear these more often than the other ones until it gets a little bit colder. So comfortable. I love the ribs detailing here. I also got this in black and that concludes the haul. Again, I will leave all of the clothes that I showed you guys in the description box. All right guys, I'm gonna make myself an omelet. Uh, let's do one egg white. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. And then I'm gonna do one full egg. A little bit of salt. A lot of bit of pepper. I love pepper. Whisk that. Look at me being a chef. I'm gonna pour them in to some coconut oil. Whoa, okay. Why is it boiling? This is what happens when I try to be a chef. I got my red pepper here. So I'm gonna sprinkle that over. I am gonna sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella over. Then we flip. I'm gonna pop it on my plate. And I'm gonna put half of a baby avocado on the top of it. And then you have a nice little omelet. All right, so I am going to eat my breakfast around 9.20. Um, I do have, like I said, a, an appointment um, with my dermatologist. We did V-Beam, if you guys are familiar with any laser treatments, it's for redness. We did a testing spot last time I went, and so today I'm gonna be doing like the full area. I'm kind of nervous because they're not gonna be numbing me this time, but she told me that babies do this, they do it to babies, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because if I freak out and I it hurts, I'm gonna look like weaker than a baby. <laughs> So yeah, that's at 2.15, but in the meantime, I have a few things to do. I have a lot of like emails to go through. Um, I have a video that I uploaded yesterday that I have to finish up, like do the thumbnail, description box, monetization, all that good stuff. And yeah, just like computer work. So I'm gonna be sitting here for the next little bit and just knocking that stuff out. Let's try this omelet together. I feel like you can't like put anything in cheese and not like it. Cheese makes everything better. Okay, I got a little bit of everything. I got the pepper, some cheese, avocado. Mmm, let's knock this to-do list out. I uploaded my video and now I'm going to be just doing 
I need to uh, give out my Poshmark stuff, like ship it out because some of you guys bought some of the stuff. I got these from Amazon. They're like little bubble wrap mail packages and I, I like the color. They're like this like really pretty teal color. So I have that, that's all set. I do need to go through and get the ones that you guys ended up purchasing. And then I have to grab my printer and go ahead and print out all of the shipping labels. going to put these out I do have like a mail room downstairs so I don't know if they can take it um, typically I would go to like the post office so I'm gonna see if it'll work if not we'll figure something else out good news they take it so now I just have to tape um, all the labels on and cut all of those papers you ordered from Poshmark hopefully by the time you got are watching this you got your stuff because it says priority mail so it's a two-day thing so yeah Yay, there's still some stuff left over if you guys are interested. Another one off the list. I went to the store this morning. I found these cherry plums. They're apparently half cherry, half plum. I found actual cherries and I was so excited, but I kid you freaking not, they were like 22 bucks for a bag of cherries. I was like, um... I think I'll pass on that one. My boyfriend loves this stuff, like weird ass fruit. I don't know why, but he, whenever there's a fruit that he doesn't know, he's like, he buys it. We're gonna take a little thing from his book today and try something new. I love cherries and I love plums and they're both very sweet. So I like sweet fruit. I don't like bitter fruit. Mm, my god look at that it tastes like a plum good little snack if you're craving something sweet i am on my way well i'm getting to be on my way to my dermatologist appointment i told you guys i was going to be doing v-beam and i'm really scared because i'm such a baby Ugh. it's okay i got these reusable masks again i did get a cloth mask but i feel like maybe that was one of the reasons why i got some acne i I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you, do you guys think like the reusable ones are better for your skin or the cloth ones? I feel like these would be better just because you use them a couple times and throw them away. <sighs> I still don't know. We are figuring it out as we go though. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be leaving in about 15 minutes. I gotta get my bag ready and wish me freaking luck. My poor chest is gonna be in pain. Have a story first of all um update on my chest uh she did oh it looks kind of worse oh is it bruised oh my god no that's not bruised i think that's just she had put marker like markers on it um but she said it should bruise so i don't know updates to come on the other hand i almost just got robbed i was in a nice area it's like lots of doctor's offices and stuff but it's a pretty busy area i went up to my doctor's office came back down and there's a lobby with like a concierge guy sitting there he's like an older gentleman i walked outside for a second to go wait for my uber which was like three minutes away but she told me not to be in the sun so i went back inside i was like oh, i made a joke like i'm gonna stay in here because it's cooler so i'm just gonna stand right here by the door and then when my uber's here i'll leave and he was like oh okay whatever some guy walked in came straight to me like this close to me i, I don't even remember if he was wearing a mask or not <coughs> <clears throat> um i was just like so in shock and i was always told in new york like if somebody like asks you for something or talks to you if they seem a little bit gone not to speak to them like just don't even engage but this man came straight up to me asked me if my bag that i was holding like this was gucci he goes is that a really expensive bag i was like i just kind of froze and i was up against a wall like i had nowhere to go he was like literally up in my face i was like no 
I just kept saying no, no, and I was freaking out in my head. I was almost like in fight or flight, I feel like, because I don't really remember that much. And he goes, that's not a Gucci bag? I was like, no. It literally is a bag that I don't even remember. Very inexpensive. So the joke would have been on him if he stole my bag. And he went to go grab it, guys. Like, he literally goes, what? And went like that, and I, I like, I had it on me like this. I'm not bringing a purse anymore. Like, that's just too dangerous. And I go, no. And I, like, went like this and I moved it. And he looked, like, all of a sudden very nervous because I think he recognized there was a concierge in the room with me. And I had my phone out. I don't have my phone with me right now. But I had it out, like, holding it. I was holding my phone in this hand. And he kept looking from my phone to my purse, like, really sporadically. And I was like, this man is about to go. He's about to grab my purse or my phone. And then he just kept asking me weird questions. And I was just like, no, no, no. I don't even know what he was asking me. And then he looked back and saw the concierge. And then just like walked back out and the concierge guy looked at me he's like what the hell like what just happened and i was like this man just came and like tried to grab my purse so i was like i made a joke i was like i'm gonna go stand over here next to you like i don't want him coming back in here i'm waiting for my uber and he was asking me questions about him and then the janitor comes who's like he was really short he had like his broom and like the the little thing that you sweep everything in and he goes what what he's like my name is john he's like tell the guy if he comes back in here I'll, I'll hit him i have this i have this he was like i'm gonna get him and he was like all protective and he walked me to my uber thank the lord for john what a freaking story almost got robbed i know that crime is up right now in new york i don't know why exactly that was my first ever robbing experience i honestly don't know what i would do if he had grabbed my purse i don't know because it was just me and the man at the front so i don't even think that he could fight him off and the guy came so close to me and he had all these stitches here on his forehead so i'm like did he get in a fight oh my god this man's dangerous but i'm home now and i'm gonna be staying in for a while now i've been really social lately and i've been going places i need to like start saving money i have a lot of work to do because i'm going back home for a week so i want to quarantine for a little bit not see a lot of people all the people that i do know are actually out of town this week so it makes it easy to stay inside and quarantine i don't really have many places to go just lots of filming to do so yeah that was unfortunate <laughs> Next time I'll probably just stay in like the actual doctor's office until my Uber's downstairs. If he stole my purse, my vlogging camera was in there. Uh, I have my ID, my birth control, like my credit card and stuff. I don't carry cash. He would have got some gum and some hand sanitizer and some lip gloss. Oh, and <laughs> she gave me this stuff for my acne because I was showing her. I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is Onexin. And she said to do this twice a day. Um, so she gave me this for free. I think it's like a sample. And she said, here, let me go get my mirror. Okay. So she said to do this twice a day. And I have my, my skin is like all washed and stuff. I, I took off my makeup before I went. So I'm just gonna, she said put them on your pimples, but they're literally on my whole forehead. So do I just rub it all on my forehead? Maybe this will work. I'm not a fan of like acne stuff. Like the girl was like, oh yeah, she might prescribe you something for that. I was like, I don't really want to. Cause I know, like I know my skin and I know that it's going away. And I get kind of weird using acne stuff because I feel like a lot of the products, it's like once you start, you can't stop. But I mean, it's worth a shot. She's the professional, right? I say that and I'm going to like break out even more. Who knows? It's like mainly around my fucking nose. That's another thing. I'm going to be working out inside. I'm just going to be staying inside basically for the next like week, week and a half. Um, I do have another appointment with her in a week just to like follow up. Um, but other than that, like I'm just going to be staying inside. So hopefully my skin will not, I won't be wearing masks that much. We shall see. I'll keep you guys posted. <sighs> that was a sneeze. <laughs> Welcome to Renee's kitchen. Today we are going to be meal prepping. Let me close this because this is affecting my lighting. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be meal prepping. Um, who I, yeah, that's it. So this is going to be a really lazy meal prep with really cheap stuff because I'm sick of spending money. I'm sick of, you know, eating unhealthy and I like things grab and go really quick. I get very hungry and then by the time I'm hungry I just will snack on chips or something instead of eating like real meals with protein, veggies, all the good stuff. I have these little containers here. Frozen veggie, canned veggie, black beans, microwave rice. Pair and heat for 90 seconds. 
I can do that. I literally can't even do that. I just messed up. Like, this is not even open. I just messed up the ripping. All right, let's try the other side. There we go, 90 seconds. Now for the beans, I think we can just drain them. Do we have to boil them right now or can I just like pop them in the microwave? Mm, I'd say let's drain. For the can, it says heat in a pan. Oh. Medium heat. That's another thing. I feel like I cook things way too high because I'm so impatient. It will cook the outside, but the inside is still not done. So this is like a microwave too. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's way too confusing. It's like, do not microwave in the back. Do two tablespoons of water and put it in a casserole dish with two quarts, whatever. Heat one third cup of water. Okay. To a boil. One third? It's like literally just the bottom. Add, cover, and cook for 10 to 14 minutes. I cut one in half and put some butter on it. It's like melting. Look at that melt. Let's try it together. So this is the high key muffin and cupcake mix. It's keto. I'm not keto, but I really love keto food because it's, I don't know, it's really good. They have really good chocolate chip cookies. So good. Mm. I was listening to Taylor Swift's Folklore album too. It's like getting me in a very fall mood. And I can't wait to bake. I'm going to vote for the VMA Awards. Voting is open. I'm gonna go through these and see who I want. Video of the year. Honestly, I want to say Billy, but Eminem featuring Juice World. That was another good one. Godzilla, but I'm gonna go with Billy. I'm biased though. Like I love Billy. She comes out with a new song, and we're gonna hear it together tonight at seven o'clock. Artist of the year. Oh, the baby. Yes. Push. Best new artist, Roddy Rich. Hell yeah. Song of the year. What is Roddy Rich's The Box again? Oh. Okay, Roddy Rich. Best collab. I'm gonna say Future and Drake. I don't like Drake. I don't know what it is. I try really hard. I know he's so popular, but I just don't feel anything with his music. But that song was good. Best pop. I'm gonna go with Taylor Swift. Um, it's for lover, not folklore. I'm actually gonna skip that one because I, I'm not into any of these. So let's do best hip hop. I'm not highest in the room. Mm, I'm gonna do highest in the room, Travis Scott. Uh, <clears throat> best R&B, oh, Lizzo. Oh, Khalid. Oh, I'm gonna do Khalid. Best K-pop, I don't really know K-pop. Kelly, my friend Kelly would hate me. I know that they're so big, but I, I, don't, I don't know them. Best Latin. I'm not quite sure. Best alternative, Phineas, but I don't know it. Ooh, Lana. That's not fair. They put Bloody Valentine, Machine Gun Kelly, but it's a picture of Megan Fox, so people are gonna vote for Megan Fox, but it's not even her. She was in that um, music video. Best music video from home. I don't know these. Best quarantine performance. These are really cool categories. Again, I haven't seen it, so I'm not gonna do it. Video for good, if Black Lives Matter one isn't here. Oh, man. They should have done his 
rock star one i'm gonna do billy just because i all the good girls go to hell i know that one best pop wait what i think that's it yay my votes are secured all right guys i'm in my pjs my hair looks a hot mess please ignore it's 705 which means billy's song should be out it's out <laughs> whoa i just got chills one of the lyrics says i know i'm supposed to be unhappy without someone but aren't i someone holy crap that was really beautiful i always get like worried that she's gonna post something that's like poppy or like mainstream but that definitely wasn't it's kind of cool she was like saying how she wants to like be in love with herself and like she's so excited for her future and i, know, I think that that's what i got from it can't you hear me i'm not coming home do you understand i've changed my plans because i'm in love with my future can't wait to meet her i'm in love but not just with anybody else just wanted to get to know myself what if she is leaving 